Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and as we continue this series on learning more about the terms of security and antivirus terms, we talk about what you probably have seen, DDoS or what's actually called the Distributed Denial of Service Attacks. These are very common, they happen every day and it is something that affects mostly websites. So what happens is that a certain number of computers will actually try to access the website in question with multiple computers to try to actually go over its capacity of actually giving you the information. And of course that makes the uh, servers crash because there's too many requests for information at the same time. Now you might think, oh wow, these groups must have really powerful computers to do this. Actually, the distributed uh, denial of service attacks are done using your computer, my computer, everybody's computer. Of course, for that to work, that means you need to have some piece of software pre-installed. So you have a little piece of code, a little virus, a little malware hidden in your computer. And its task is simply to just phone home regularly and see if it is going to be used for an attack. A lot of people have these viruses in their machines without even knowing about it. That is why we talk about security. When I say Windows 7 users cannot be secure, even though you get tons of people saying, well, I you know what I'm doing and I got antivirus. Well, it's obvious you don't know what you're doing because just the way you talk, you don't even understand that you have a high chance of actually being already, um, you know, uh, hacked in some way or having one of those little Trojans that's, you know, in your PC, their little virus that's just waiting to actually be part of a larger network of attack. And that's why a lot of people are, actually saying, you know what, um, when an uh, operating system becomes obsolete, it should actually be deactivated and not you should not have permission to continue using it. So they actually infect machines, infect uh, millions and millions of computers around the world. And when time comes, well, the first thing that they'll do is activate the DDoS attack, which means Millions of computers around the world are going to actually target the same website, the same place. And that means that website will go down. It happens regularly and there are attacks regularly. Depending on who is attacked, the damage is more or less important. If you do this with Google or Microsoft, um, you know, Facebook, often they will quickly react to it and actually mitigate the attack. But smaller websites often can be taken offline for a long time using this type of attack. Once again, it's very simple. It's just asking the website, for example, asking the page, the main page of the website, but with millions of computers doing it at the same time, which means it's going to crash the servers and put the website offline for as long as the attack happens. Why do they do this? Well, it could be out of just being, you know, uh, a bad player. They just want to make sure that they damage the uh, the reputation or the damage the, you know, the website in, in particular. Sometimes it's money related in another way. It's actually, it could simply be that uh, they're asking for a ransom. And if the ransom doesn't come through, well, they'll attack uh, a website and bring it down. So there's different ways of doing this, but at the basics, a, de a distributed denial of service attack uses regular computers in everybody's homes, bedrooms, uh, you know, uh, wherever at work. Uh, and these are often unpatched systems or systems that simply people don't know, but they, you know, took, they, they're not careful and they got a, a virus that got this little package in a computer. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.